my channel. Last month I uploaded a video of all of my second chance makeup and I've decided to turn this into a series. Every month I am going to go through all of my makeup and pull out products that I didn't really like the first time that I tried them and give them a second chance. Last month when I uploaded my second chance video, so many of you guys really, really enjoyed it. I will leave it right up here in the iCards. That was definitely a fun video and I actually found the Hourglass Caution Mascara, which I'm obsessed with. I think it's good for all of us to go through our makeup and find those products that we didn't really like and try them again. And I challenge you all to go through your makeup and play with what you've got and pull out the products that did not work for you and play with them again and see if you like them because it might be that your skin type might change or your technique changes. There's so many different variables when you're applying makeup. I'm excited to do this video. I'm gonna be uploading a video like this every single month. We're just gonna make it into a series because I do think it's a fun series and you guys seem to really enjoy the last video. So that's what we're doing today. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, let's go ahead and start playing with these products that really didn't work out for me. I'm kind of like nervous about this and I'm gonna give it a second chance. This breakout is ridiculous. It hurts so bad, you guys. Oh my gosh, it hurts. I've been using a new product from Obagi. It's the vitamin C something, something, something. And I love it because it's bringing all of that stuff like to the surface. So these two were kind of sitting down underneath my skin and now it's like bringing it all to the surface. So I'm not mad at it. Like this is a breakout that I'm kind of happy that I have it. You know what I mean? Okay. We're not going to go that far, but I'm, I'm glad it's coming to the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. The reason why I'm using this is not only because I love it, obviously, but the foundation that I'm using today, you guys, it was one of the worst that I've tried, uh, you know, within like the last six months, it was bad. I need to bring everything, like the full A game, to really try to make that foundation look decent. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now that that's done, let's move on to foundation. This is the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, and I have it in the shade Bamboo. I've seen so many people like, influencers really rave about this like Desi Perkins she loves this foundation and I'm like Kate why do I why do I not like it like like what happened that day that I tried it and you know this was when I tested this this was back before I started testing my foundations several days so I only I only wore this for one day and you guys I'll take you, I'll put up here in the iCards that link to that video of me testing out this foundation. But by the end of the night, it was like patchy. Like I was missing foundation. It, it looked so bad. It was like one of the worst foundations I've ever worn. And I had high hopes for it. I wanted it to work so bad because it's that skin love. And I really like Becca products. And so it was just kind of like a, it was a complete letdown. And I, f I can't remember off the top of my head, but I feel like I gave this like a 1.5 out of like a five star review. And I mean, it was awful. So you know what? We're gonna pull it back out. We're gonna give it a second chance. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put two pumps down in the tray. So that's two pumps. And it's a thicker foundation. It's almost a little bit moussey, but not quite. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Base One brush and I'm just gonna start stippling this into the skin. I really, really want this foundation to work. Like I really, 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 really want it to work. Like can I just send that out to the universe and make this foundation work for me, please? Like pretty please? Now this might be the wrong shade because when I got this, it was, I think it was in the summer or maybe the end of the summer. <laughs> So this is a little dark for me. Like, I might have to really, really blend this in. Okay, so right away, when you put it on, it sets down and it looks really good so far. Like, it really sets down on the skin nice and it blends right in. I mean, it blends right in. Oh 
oh my gosh, this shade is so dark for me right now. Holy shit skis. Like this needs to be a shade that I need to wear when I just get done like with my fake tan or something because this is way dark. If I remember correctly, that was the one thing that I struggled with was finding my right shade. I remember going into Ulta and I swatched it and I kept thinking, okay, and I was trying to choose between these two different shades. This doesn't look too bad. Now I'm kind of getting like a medium coverage situation, but it went on and just like set down. So I don't even really feel like I have foundation on. So first impressions, I actually like this foundation the way it looks right now. It does look like skin. It kind of blended down into my skin and it's set down. Like I, I, there's, I don't really feel sticky. I don't feel tacky or anything like that. I'm really curious about this. I remember the last time that I wore this, it got really um, oily throughout the day. I do remember that. It's a light medium coverage and you could probably build this coverage more, but I don't know that I want to only because it does look like skin and that's kind of the purpose of it. So I'm going to leave it here. Next product I've never really been able to get to work for me. And I don't know if it's because the shade is off or what, but I bought both of these. I actually have all three. I have the Bye Bye under eye concealer in the tube form and then I also have the bye bye under eye concealing pot and I have this in the shade medium and then I also have the bye bye under eye corrector and I also have this in the shade medium and it's a super pigmented and it's almost orange I think that's the thing that I don't really like about it is it has like an orangey peachy tone to the medium shade but I'm going to use this on this pimple. So I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush. This is the number seven. And I'm going to go down in it and just kind of like conceal these spots. It almost draws more attention to it. Let's go ahead and use the concealing pot under my eyes and see if I can get this product to work. So I'm just gonna go in with the brush. bad actually I need to kind of blend it down into my face though I'm not sure how I applied it the first time and I didn't like it like I'm not exactly sure why I didn't like it but actually that doesn't look too bad does it it looks pretty natural I am gonna go in with this part of the brush I'm gonna go in to this and kind of put some right here just to highlight and kind of brighten my face right here because um, this foundation is a little bit too dark. Just don't get it on your brows like I just did. For those of you that don't wanna feel like you have concealer on or you really don't wanna see it, I feel like this is a good option. This is a lightweight concealer, but I do feel like it's pretty pigmented. So the next thing I'm gonna do is contour and I am gonna use this Emily palette. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Emily Edits The Needs palette. I didn't really like this the first time that I used it. It was okay, um, but it wasn't my favorite. The first time that I used this, I didn't like it enough to pick it up again. And so I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and try it again. Let's give it a try. So I'm gonna go into the shade Courage. This is the bronzer and I'm gonna contour with that shade. Uh, see, this is the thing that I didn't like about it either. I always felt like it was a little bit patchy of a bronzer and I didn't really like that part about it, but I really wanted to only because I really like Emily. I think she's like super sweet, but you can see how it gets patchy. I don't like that. I think she's such a positive space in this whole like, you know, in the beauty community that has quite a bit of negativity. And so I really wanted to love this palette just because I really like her. I mean, you've seen that Tati was highly criticized for giving her honest opinion on these two palettes. Now, don't get me wrong. 
I did like the bigger palette. I can't remember what that's, the Wants palette. I liked that one way more than I liked the Needs palette. And she struggled with the Wants palette. And this is okay, but the problem is it, it, it tends to be a little bit patchy. And I just, I don't really like having to work that hard to get my bronzer to work. Okay, so let's go into the blush. I'm gonna go into the shade Joy, this one right here. There's so much space in between here, the way that it's laid out. I feel like it's just kind of hard to just go into this only, especially if you have a larger brush. So I didn't really like the layout either, but let's go ahead and pot some of this on the cheek. Now I'm gonna wipe the brush off on a towel here and then I'm just gonna like really try to work that in. It's definitely not my favorite, but it's not bad. Okay, for highlighter, I'm not gonna use the highlighter in this because I already know it was a total shit show. This highlighter is super powery and it like goes to nothing. I'm like, where is it again? It's the weirdest like powdery, chalky highlighter. It's the worst highlighter ever. I don't understand why they chose that highlighter in this palette, but it is so chalky and just, I don't even understand it. I'm like, what the hell? Like you put it on and you're like, where'd it go? It's not, in my opinion, it's not even a highlighter. I'm gonna use this from Tarte. This is the Pro Glow. This is the liquid highlighter. I've ne I've used this a few times and I didn't really like the way that it applied. This is in the shade Exposed. Ah, that's not bad. Why didn't I like this the first time I tried it? I'm gonna take some and put some right here on my nose. I just went down on my hand and grabbed it from. This isn't bad. I don't know why I didn't like it the first time I tried it, but I did not like it. You wanna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Finish Powder, only because now since I've been using it, it's almost, it's almost like I can't go a day without it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some right over my nose, right up here on that creeping skin. Oh, it's so amazing. And then right here on my forehead. All your wrinkles, all your bad mistakes, it just makes it all go away. Like it never even happened. It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna go back into that concealer and I'm gonna paint that on my eyelids just to kind of give me a nice space for my eyeshadow. Okay, now for eyeshadow, I could totally just go in and grab shadows out of here, but I don't really wanna do that. I actually wanna, you know, go through my stash and see products that I know I didn't really like and give them a second chance. So I'm gonna go in with this from Dose of Colors. This is the I Love Sari collaboration. This palette is very, very pretty, and this green is so unique. It's the most unique green shade I think I've ever seen in a palette. And I remember just thinking, oh my gosh, that green shade is absolutely stunning. But I didn't love this palette. I did not love it. And it was just one of those palettes that didn't speak to me. I don't know if it's the shade combinations or what. I appreciate the variations of colors within this palette. I don't know, I just wasn't living for this palette. So we're gonna give it a second chance today. So let's go into this like peachy shade and I'm gonna take the uh, Builder Pro brush from the Sonia G Pro Eye Set and I'm gonna start kind of packing this on my lid. Now I do really, really like the Dose of Colors eyeshadow formula. I love this peachy shade though. This peachy shade is everything. You guys know I love peach, but plus, I mean, I'm kind of like wanting spring to come, so. And then I'm gonna switch and grab the Crease Pro brush and I'm gonna go back into that shade and I'm gonna start kind of bringing that into my crease. I did go ahead and set that concealer with just some powder because I like my concealer set or whatever whatever I'm using for eyeshadow base, I do like to set it. I don't really like tacky eyeshadow base and that's just preference, you know, we all have our own different preferences and you know, it's just harder for me to blend an eyeshadow on a tackier base.
I'm gonna take this brush, this is just a pencil brush, and I'm gonna go into that peachy shade, and I'm gonna bring it right here along the lower lash line. My definite, my issue with this palette was definitely not the pigmentation because I did feel like it was really pigmented, but I just didn't love the, I just didn't love the color story and it was just hard for me to cre be creative in it. I don't know if you guys are that way, but when a palette, when the shades are not cohesive together, it's very hard for me to be creative. And like the way that they're laid out is so important for me. And I wish I wasn't that way. I wish that I had that kind of design type mentality where I could just pull pieces and bring it together and bring it to life. But it's very hard for me to do that. And I need a color story that I can look at and be inspired by, or it's very hard for me to create a look with it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm gonna go back into the Builder Pro and I'm gonna go into this rustic red shade right here. And I'm going to like kind of deepen up this outer corner with that shade. And then kind of bringing it a little bit into the crease. Okay, so I'm sorry I didn't pull you guys in closer so you guys could see really what I was doing. I am, I'm not making it today, obviously. These are like very soft shadows. And that's the thing I think that I like about it the most is that they're very soft and you can really kind of blend them where you need them and like move them around, which I really appreciate. So I'm gonna go back into the pencil brush with that darker shade and I'm gonna bring it right here on this outer corner. But then I'm gonna wipe the brush off and I'm gonna go back into that light peachy shade and I kind of lost the pigmentation right here. I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna bring it back to life. I feel like this palette is definitely more of a palette for me where I'm gonna pull from versus creating a full look using this palette only. Only because I don't feel like these peach, this shade or this shade, like the two matte shades in the palette go with these two shades. Like they just don't feel like they go together. And this black has a little bit of the sparkle in it. And I don't like that. I do not like my black to have any sparkle. I don't know, you guys, I just didn't feel this palette. I just didn't understand the vision behind it, I guess was my thing. So I'm gonna take my felt tip applicator and I'm gonna wet it down with just a damp makeup wipe. And I'm gonna go into this gold shade right here. And I'm gonna kind of like place this over the peachy tone that we have right here on my lid. I'm going into the darker of the two mattes and kind of really working that into this outer corner. I'm just not feeling it. I do not like this palette at all. I don't like it at all, at all. I don't like that gold shade either. That bronzy shade, I don't know what it is about it that I don't like it, but I don't. So I'm gonna go back into the felt tip applicator and I'm gonna go into the shade right next to it and I'm gonna pop that over top of this gold shade. Let's go in with some eyeliner and I'm just gonna use this one from Sephora. This is like a little sample one that I have and I'm just gonna like trace this along my upper waterline. I don't know if I'm gonna wear lashes today I don't know that I feel like I want to, to be honest. So I'm gonna first go in with this Dior, uh, Dior Show Maximizer 3D, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna use this just to kind of thicken up my lashes. Okay, so everybody raves about this Lancome Muncier Big, I don't know how you say it, but you know what I'm talking about. This Lancome Muncier Big, waterproof mascara. I also have it here and I always buy my mascaras in the minis because they just dry out too fast and I never use a full tube. Um, I've heard that the waterproof works better. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the waterproof now. I remember the last time I tried it, I was like, eh, it's okay. But I didn't feel like it was like the best mascara I've ever used in my life. And I know that people rave about this. Like this is some people's like ride or die mascara. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. I just don't remember being wowed by it. For me, because I do have smaller real lashes, it's very hard for me to use a bigger brush. So, you know, that could be the reason why I didn't pick it up again, we'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of coats of this on. 
I definitely recommend having a comb close by because this is super clumpy. First coat on, I just don't like how much this mascara comes off on this wand. Like I have to wipe half of it off and it's just messy. You guys, I don't really like this mascara. It's just too runny and like, it's making a freaking mess. Like too much comes off on the brush and I have to just keep wiping it off because the brush is like coated. Like the thing down inside doesn't grab enough of that off, which just becomes a clumpy mess. This is just not working out. It's too, it's too much, you guys. It's way too much product and it puts way too much on the brush. I just don't have time to like really work it into your lashes and like build up that dimension within the lashes. I'm just like, I don't get this product. I don't get the hype around this. This is like the hardest mascara I've ever used. So messy. It's like the messiest mascara ever. And even though I took like two minutes wiping off that brush, I still got like half the tube of mascara sitting on my lashes. I am trying to search for a lippy and I can't really find anything to match this eye look. I do not like this eye look at all. It is not calling my name. Not a fan. I don't like it at all. Not at all. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. This is from It Cosmetics. This is their waterproof nude lip liner stain. I don't know if it's because they're waterproof or what the deal is with this, but it's seriously, like I have to press so hard to get any kind of pigment, and then it ends up breaking off on me, which totally sucks. I'm not a fan of this formula. It's super chalky too, but it's not smooth at all. It's really hard to put on. So I have several little options here, and I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this quite a few times, but the Lux Liquid, the Lux lipsticks from ColourPop are not my favorite. They're a little bit too, chalky. This is in the shade buttercream. I can never get them to last very long. And the thing that the thing the reason why I have so many because I have like 10 of them is because when I buy like a set like a collaborated set that you know ColourPop collaborated with an influencer or whatever sometimes they'll have like two or three of the Lux lipsticks in that set. And that's the reason why I have so many of them but I do not like the formula. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade. I don't know that it's gonna match but at this point it doesn't really matter does doesn't really. <laughs> ah, they're so chalky. Oh my gosh, they're chalky. Mm -mm. That lippy is awful. I look like I just crawled out of a six foot grave. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I need some color stat. Maybe I need to pull out my own little lip liner from my little collection here that I actually like. All right, I'm going to get this KKW Beauty nude number two. Okay, let's go back in with butter. That's just gonna have to do because at this point, this is probably gonna be the closest match that I'm gonna get. So let's quickly go through some of the products that I use today and I am gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation because I do think that's only fair because I liked this foundation for the first few hours when I wore it the last time but it was by the end of the night that it was like a patchy mess. So the foundation right now, as it stands, it looks pretty damn good actually. Like this foundation does not look bad on my skin. It's a very natural foundation and I like that so far, I do. So I'm definitely gonna come back and let you guys know how I feel about it later on this evening. The under eye concealer is actually pretty dang nice. I do like this concealer. So far, I really, really like it. Uh, tonight, we'll come back and see how it's wearing because it's only like 11 o'clock right now. So I'm going to wear these for as long as I can today. The eyeshadow palette, I do not like on any level. It's just not my favorite. Something about this eyeshadow palette that just doesn't speak to me. And again, I don't really like the shades in here. I don't like the matte shades. I feel like I have pink eye. That's what I feel like. When I mix those two shades together, I feel like I have pink eye. I'm, I'm just not living for it. It's not my favorite. Uh, this highlighter is not bad, actually. This little glow, whatever. I don't know how much this is. This is actually pretty good. I liked this one. The Emily Edits palette is still not my favorite. This is really patchy. The blush is pretty, and I think that's the only thing that I like about the palette. 
and I felt bad because I really, really like her. She's super freaking sweet, but that's not my favorite. What else did I use? Oh, the mascara. Oh my gosh. Okay, for those of you out there that love that Lancome, because I know that so many love it, then you keep wearing it because I couldn't get it to work and it was way too much, way too much mascara. And I felt like I was just overloaded and I don't have that much. You guys don't, you guys, I don't have that many lashes. Like I got a little bit of lashes to work with. And when I'm overloading them with all of this mascara all at one time, it's hard to control it. And then they just start kind of clumping together. I need better control and I don't have it with that. And the brush is too big. So the Lancome months are big. As much as I love Lancome, it's a total pass. Uh, the lippy, the lip liner, eh. It's a pass. So that's it for this portion of the video. I will come back later on this evening and give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation and the concealer. We're gonna check in and see how it looks then. But I do feel like I'm getting a little bit oily and I, I don't know. I gotta watch my first review of this foundation because in the back of my mind, I keep telling myself that I really liked it until like, like a six hour mark and then it just went downhill. I don't know. I'll have to go back and watch the video, but um, so I will be back later on this evening to give you guys my final thoughts and I will see you guys then. Okay, so I am back. It is 1130 at night. I'm ready to go to bed and this is like a big old festering scab that I got to deal with. But let's talk about the makeup because I am looking haggard right now. So let's talk about the mascara. So I used the waterproof Lancome Munster big mascara, whatever it's called. And you can see how much it's like transferred up here. Like as you can see, and it's transferred over here. It's also transferred down in this area. So even though this is supposed to be a waterproof formula, I do not like this mascara at all. Typically waterproof mascaras don't do that to me, but this one sure did, and it is just all over me. So there's that. Let's talk about the foundation. The foundation, I feel really dry. I mean, as you can see, especially right here in this area, it's just not looking good at all. Like. I do not like this foundation and my opinion definitely has not changed on it. It just doesn't work for me, bottom line. And even though many people really like this foundation, for me, it doesn't do the job. The concealer I actually think looks pretty good. I did lose a lot of coverage. It's really hard to tell how the concealer held up because the mascara has pretty much ruined it. So all fairness to the concealer, I can't really say it's a really good concealer or it's a horrible concealer because I mean if you look down here it doesn't look too bad but I do feel like even like right here in this area I'm starting to see some of that hollowness right here and I don't get that when I do when I use my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. I stand by my original opinion on these products and they're definitely not my favorite so there's that. I really had high hopes for this foundation because I really did like how it sets down and my face did not feel tacky at all, but as you can see, I'm very oily, but my face feels really tight, like exceptionally tight. So it almost feels like it sucks all the moisture out of my skin, but yet my, my face is oily and it makes my face oily. It's so weird. I didn't have a chance to watch my original review of this foundation, but it almost feels similar. Like I feel like what happened to me today is what happened the first time I used it. So this is definitely a pass for me and there's all of the information on all the products that we use today. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope you guys enjoyed this second chance makeup video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up Thank you guys again for all the love that you guys show me and this channel. It truly means the world to me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day filled with love and happiness. I will see you guys right back here tomorrow. And I love you all so much. Bye. A winter weather advisory again. As if seven feet of snow wasn't enough. <laughs> Spring can come soon enough. It's a bun kind of day because my hair is dirty. <laughs> The bitch is dirty. <laughs> She's disgusting. Ugh, we're not gonna talk about the hair. I feel like my contour is not blended. That Emily Needs palette kind of screwed me. This is from It Cosmetics. This is their, uh, oh shit skis. Uh, what else?